welcome back to the channel. It's been a very, very, very long time. A um, couple months. I'm not going to spend forever talking about why I was gone. I'm just not. Yeah. Because uh, your girl had a lot of priorities in life she needed to set out. And I kind of sort of did it. And it's the fall season. The fall season, I feel like I'm my most productive. I just get this burst of creative energy during the fall season. I don't know how to explain it. I started my blog on my new website, my actual official website, kaylincast.com. Go check it out. Um, on it, I have a blog. And you're going to see some changes because I'm currently having my website updated, but my blog post is still up, and I did a Bath and Body Works haul. And I explained how the fall season gets me productive, and one of the biggest things that actually helps motivate me is, like, smells. Smells, for some reason, can either make or break my mood, they can give me headaches, or they can give me a burst of energy, so it really depends. And that's why Bath and Body Works, the only time, the only time I ever go to Bath and Body Works is during the fall season, because the scents are phenomenal. So on the first trip, I decided that I wanted to buy some hand soaps. And I have like a few pumps of a couple other hand soaps left over. Uh, but I kind of wanted to try something new. And for the past like three years, I have gone overboard on spending at Bath and Body Works, and I spent too much money, bought stuff, and I still have it. Like I have two pumpkin marshmallow latte um, lotions. I have the lotions. I have the the longer shea butter ones, and I have two of those. And I just haven't gone through them to the point that they smell chemically now. And so I'm like, I should probably throw these out, but I don't want to waste them. So it's kind of a dilemma that I have. Uh, so I wanted to try something new. I wanted to, you know, get away from the pumpkin scents, maybe break away a little. So I did. So for the hand soaps, I got Chris Morning Air, which it describes itself as fresh pine, juniper, and juicy pear. And then I also got Jumping in Leaves, which describes itself as cranberry, oak, and cypress leaves. I like these scents. This one smells just like um, a lotion that I got last year during fall. This one's a bit more musky and woodsy. But they're both really good. Um, here's the issue. I'm sure you see this. I actually got both of these as testers. I just pulled the sticker off because this is the one I'm currently using in my bathroom right now. But for some reason, I picked up the testers and the girl was like, you know, talking to me up and showing me them. And then she rang up the testers and neither she nor I noticed that they were testers. So yeah, but these were like half off when I went in. So what's a few pumps of hand soap for the price that I paid, not much. So I was being very picky about lotions, as I said, because I still have two marshmallow pumpkin lattes left over that I just haven't bothered to burn through. Um, so I went in and I was like, I'm going to pick one lotion. Your girl walked out with three. I have, okay, so they have this new line at Bath and Body Works, and it's like rose, and then almond blossom, and then like a, I don't know what it was, like plum and something else, I think it was like plum and jam or something like that. But I fell in love with the rose and the almond blossom, so I went ahead and got these. The rose is definitely like a springtime floral smell, um, but I am a sucker for rose. So this, especially like right after the shower on a long day, is so relaxing, so soothing. The almond blossom, very light, delicate floral. It's almost like a fall scent still to me, so that's why this is perfect for the fall time. I actually really like this. And then the crisp orchard leaves, of course, smells so good. It describes itself as autumn pear slices, cool air, fresh picked apple, and oak leaves. And I really like it. And apple scents are very strong to me, which we were in Bath and Body Works and I was pointing out different smells to my boyfriend. I'm like, well, which ones do you like? Which ones do you like? He cannot smell apple in any of these scents for some reason. I don't know if that's like a thing, but anything with apple, he cannot smell the apple. So there were certain scents that like, I grabbed, I think, pumpkin apple. He couldn't smell it at all. He's like, I don't smell this. I smell a little bit of pumpkin, I don't smell the apple, and the apple to me was so strong. So I wonder how that's a thing, if anybody knows that, feel free to explain it. I have not one, but two. Um, the one's currently in my bag, but I have the other one that I just bought. Pumpkin Cupcake. Yep. I love these hand sanitizers. Um, pumpkin Cupcake is one of my favorite scents, and even though I didn't want to go for any pumpkin this year, I went out of my way to buy the specific hand sanitizer. And then on my second trip, I went back in, and I wanted to get a different pocket bag because the one I currently have is like back to school, girly kind of themed, and now that we're getting into fall, I really wanted to get a fall one, and they had one left. It was the uh, Fox one, super adorable. Uh, the girl selling it to me said she had one, and for some reason it was just the last one left in the store, so 
So I was super excited for that. Both times I went in, I did buy a bunch of candle scents. Um, here on campus, we're not allowed to have candles, so we use wax melts instead. Or you can trim the wicks and pull the wax out of a candle and melt the candle. So the first trip, I got my holy grail scents. I got leaves, flannel, which I'm currently melting right now, love, sweater weather, and autumn. These are like my holy grail, the holy quaternity for me. Um, and then I usually, because they're always like five for, you know, like 12 or 15 or something like that, I will get a fifth one and just switch it out. So last fall I got these and I still have like some of these left, but I wanted more uh, to burn through because I will definitely use these a lot. Uh, but last year I got the hot cocoa one and it was just too sweet of a smell for me. I like more fruity or like outdoorsy scents. Uh, so I decided to go with Marshmallow Fireside and haven't burned it yet, but did not regret it when I bought it. So we'll see how that goes. So, and then on my second trip, I decided to get the Pumpkin Apple Pumpkin Pecan Waffles to die for, oh my gosh. And Cactus Blossom, hear me out. Okay, so sometimes when you've been burning through fall scents so much, you get sick and tired of the same smells or just you know the same notes so I like to you know kind of segue into different ones sometimes with more like spring or summer scents it's weird I know uh, but I got cactus blossom also because in Florida we don't really have a fall and our winter ends up being like a fall for us I will burn through most of my fall scents in winter so definitely recommend like having breaks in scents because of all the fall scents that I've been burning through for the past like two seasons so having like a nice little in-betweener that isn't from the season kind of like cleanses everything. And then like I said, I'm a huge fan of the uh, pumpkin cupcake scent. Unfortunately, they did not have it in a wax melt. They did have it in a candle. And honestly, they had, I was going to get the smaller candle, but it was cheaper and more bang for my buck just get the bigger one, which is super adorable and I'm really sad. Um, my wax melter does melt like candle jars. But I think I'm pretty sure I've tried this in the past before where these ones are too thick and they don't quite fit on the melter so they don't melt. Uh, but I would not like to damage this because it's gorgeous, but I guess I'm going to have to trim the wicks and, oh my god, uh, trim the wicks and start just scraping all that wax out. I know that might have seemed like a lot, but for me that's actually downscaling on what I normally buy at Bath and Body Works every fall. Like I said, I don't normally go throughout the year. Maybe I'll pop in to occasionally buy a new hand soap for my bathroom. But as far as it goes for buying like scents for my body and stuff, I typically only buy fall scents. Um, not a huge fan of the winter lines, although I usually get it gifted me for Christmas, so I will go through it. But I, I just don't, I don't know. I resonate most with the fall scents. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at, and I will use them throughout the year, so it's not like I'm wasting them. With the exception of pumpkin scents, I feel like pumpkin scents are always for fall, only for fall. Musky woodsy, I'm kind of woodsy girl. That's fine. But the pumpkin, that's why I never burn through it. I feel like that's like exclusively fall and it's like sacrilegious to use pumpkin any other season. Don't add me for that. I hope you guys liked my nice little uh, introduction video back to my channel. It's just Bath and Body Works haul because your girl basically lives there during the fall season. Let me know if you tried out anything from the fall lines, any new products, any old ones. What are your holy grails? Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.